Hello everybody, this is Steve Grisetti, co-founder of MoviePix.com and author of the MoviePix.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in Adobe Premiere Elements 2023 in part one of an eight-part series we're calling Basic Training for Adobe Premiere Elements. We're going to show you some of the basics of the program and how to use them and show you some of the tools in the program. And we'll take you through the process, basically, of making a video. Now, when you first start the program or first launch the program, you open to this welcome screen or this splash screen. There's some pretty cool features on here, including access to some nice little tutorials for creating certain effects or doing some basic things. In the lower left-hand corner are auto creations. These will be generated automatically by the program as it goes through your catalog of video and photos. And these are kind of cool too, but we're not going to go into those right now. What's most important is this little lower right-hand corner. This is where we'll access our programs. It also gives us a list of recent files we've worked on, but we're going to open up the video editor, which is Premiere Elements. When you first launch Premiere Elements, you may get an additional screen that pops up that's supposed to um, help you get started into creating a project. Ignore that screen. Check the option to never see that screen again. It's pretty much worthless as far as I'm concerned. Now, there are two main areas for editing your video the quick view workspace and the expert view workspace. Don't be intimidated by the word expert. You don't have to be an expert to use the expert view workspace. It's simply a more powerful workspace. It has more options, more tracks of video and audio and more tools. The quick view workspace is simply a space for quickly putting together a video. And to put together a video, you simply go to add media, browse to your hard drive here by selecting files and folders, Select some clips either by holding down the control or command key and selecting one at a time or holding down the shift key and selecting the first and last in a series and then click open. Now in quick view, your media is added directly to the timeline, a little bit different in expert view. And once the media is on your timeline, we can click off them to deselect them and I can grab them one at a time and change the arrangement or the order of the video clips. You notice there's a little transitional element here in between each of the clips and we can go over here to the transitions menu on the right and select a transition and add that in between our clips. We can also trim our clips. For instance, this is a 32 second clip, this very first one. That's a long clip. Let's click on the 32 second button here and that will open it up in Smart Trim if we select that option. And here in Smart Trim we can cut off what we don't want. So it's already given us a suggestion here to only use six seconds of it. We can trim off the beginning or trim off the end. And then when we click continue editing here in the lower right hand corner, our 32 second clip is now 10 seconds, the best 10 seconds. So we can trim our clips. We can arrange the order of our clips. We can add transitions to them. And if you select any clip, you can even add a title above it. Now notice the titles are connected to the video clips here in Quick View. So you haven't got a separate track to add your titles. So if we added a title by clicking on T plus here above the clip, and we can call this, we can use the tools here in the title adjustments window to change the font, to change the style, to add animation, those sorts of things. We'll go into that deeper when we talk about titles later in this course. But we can create a title, but notice that the title here is, when I click on the timeline, we'll go back to the timeline, there we go. The title is connected to the clip. It can't extend over two clips. You can set where in the clip it begins and ends by clicking on the little stopwatch here. It's gonna run five seconds by default and start at the beginning of the clip. We can make it start later in the clip if we'd like by adjusting a start point but we can't have it extend over one or several clips. It's connected to the clip. You have a very limited timeline here in Quick View. You can add music and that's kind of about it. And you can add either music scores, which we'll talk about later in the course, or you can add your own custom music from any place on your hard drive. But that's pretty much it. It's a very simplified area for editing one track of video, one track of additional audio and titles connected to the video clips. But that is Quick View. It's great for assembling quickly media into a short video. But Expert View is really where we're going to spend most of our time in this course, and it's the most interesting work area. In fact, when I click on Expert View, I'll even get a warning that says, Warning, when you're going into Expert View, you have more options. You may not be able to go back into Quick View and finish your movie. 
but we'll go ahead and go get into expert view anyway. And here we'll have a lot more options, which we'll begin talking about in part two of our eight part series on basic training here with Premier Elements. I hope you join me for part two and for all eight parts in this series.